Hello, I hope you're doing well and thank you for tuning in to Kureitu TV. I am your host Liz Akama and on our guest list today we have Soli Kiluta who is an aspiring leader in the coming 2022 general election. Let's get to learn more about him. How are you Soli? Hi, how are you? I'm good. Yes. How, 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 are, how is politics? Politics is good. Mm -hmm. uh, Ground is Ground. Ground your politics. Quite. Ground equals uh -huh. Um Everyone has gotten into it, Sasa. Um, so you're ready? Yes. You're ready, ready for August? Yes. It's we okay. have uh, made our preparations mm -hmm. and uh, we are hoping for the best outcome. So, who is Soli Kiluta? Soli Kiluta is a man, an entrepreneur, a leader, and an aspiring politician. Which seat are you vying for? I am vying for the MCA position mm -hmm. for Masinga Central Ward. Okay. Yes. So why why the MCA seat? I know there are seven elective positions in Kenya right now. Why are you not vying maybe for the governor seat or the MP seat? Why MCA? You have to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, even when you're climbing a tree, you have to climb from the ground up. So to you, what's leadership? I've had many definitions of leadership over the years, but to me, leadership is telling the truth. It's that. It's simply that, telling the truth. By truth, what do you mean? You see, if you don't tell the truth, you mislead people. Okay. Yeah? So you can't really be said to be a leader. Yeah? If you say that leadership is influence, there are very many influential, charismatic people who can influence you either in the right direction or the wrong direction. Yeah? But I believe at the end of it, if you want to see any lasting change, it's about telling the truth. So in, in, in your campaigns, who are your key supporters? Like, who are you focusing on? Someone maybe who can spread the good news here for the people of Masinga Central. Who are your key supporters? Always had uh, a soft spot, I don't say a soft spot, but I've, I've always been drawn towards people who are running families, who have families, children, because they hold the future of the nation in their hands. I've also been drawn towards business people, mm -hmm. people going out into venturing out into business, and, and also for the youth because contrary to what I've seen about the youth uh, most people treat being youth a youth as a disability as people who need handouts all the time yeah but that's not what youth need yeah? youth need to be shown the right direction to go and for us to get out of their way so that they can go and get what they want without us necessarily telling them what we think is best for them. Okay, so they used to be mismanaged or maybe to be used, right? So what agendas do you have for them? So the first thing with the youth is to, is to guide them, to mm -hmm. tell them, look, if somebody is standing on top of a mountain, they are able to see, yeah? And a lot of leaders or older people in the youth's lives mm -hmm. have not given back to the youth by showing them, look, if you want to go into this career, this is the path you need to take. If you want to go into business, this is the path you need to take. If you want to go into government or say the disciplined forces, this is what you need to do. Okay. Yeah? But everyone is, is busy saying, you know, let's give the youth money, let's... Uh, there are so many agendas for the youth. Mm. Yeah? But the youth have to come and tell us, look, I, I want to be a doctor. Then we can tell you, okay, if you want to be a doctor, this is a path you need to take. Mm. So it starts there. Yeah? And sometimes a young person might come from a family where there are no doctors or no one has an idea. Maybe the parents never went to school or got a higher education so they are not in a position to guide that child 
But the people who are in those positions, many of them, they really don't give back to this youth. Yeah? So we start first by asking the youth, just have a candid conversation. Yeah? What do you guys want? Is it your first time vying or have you vied for any position? My first time vying, mm -hmm. but I've been involved in uh, politics and leadership mm -hmm. at various levels. Mm -hmm. And uh, what really has pushed me to go into politics is to try and restore the dignity of the people. Okay. So, Soli, being a youth, and you've taken the challenge of vying for the first time. I know most youth are shying away from this, and maybe they think you can't multitask. You've said you're into business, you're into entrepreneur, but you're taking the challenge of getting into politics. What advice can you really give to them? What I can say, uh, I had the option of joining politics 15 years ago. You see, politics is not a career. Politics is a public trust. If you're a youth, yeah, you can go into politics, yeah, but again also politics is a gamble. You can be elected or not elected. Yeah. You cannot base your life on gambling or on speculation. Mm. Yeah. Have something first that you're doing, oh. that even if you don't make it in politics, you can fall back to. So for the people of Masinga Central, what do you have in store for them? Like, what are your agendas? It is for the people themselves to come up with their own agendas. So you're going to face them without, no, no. without any agenda I'll, or something? I'll, 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 okay. Let me finish my point. Fine. Yeah. So I, I don't put it as an agenda, but there are two things that I have seen that can help the people of uh, Masinga Central Ward, of Masinga, of Machakos, and even the people of Kenya. And this is one, one area where the Catholic Church got it right. Uh, in the Catholic social doctrine, they talk about something called subsidiarity. Subsidiarity, neogatuzi, or devolution. And they say, do not do for people what they can do for themselves. It is the people who know where the shoe pinches. It is the people who know their pain points. And it is best to let the people identify what are the pressing issues that face us, that we want to tackle this year, next year, and the years to come. And the best way to help these people is through devolution. Yeah? So devolution is a solution that can address many problems. We're vying for the first time and yes. uh, in the political ground there are a lot of challenges. So are you facing any challenges currently with your campaigns or something? Or just comfortable, you good? So there are always challenges. Yeah. Uh, but as uh, one of my mentors used to tell me, the show must go on. Thank you very much Soli and for the people of Masinga, I feel this is the right person you should elect because he got you at heart. And I really hope the next time I'll be having you on board, you'll be a um, Muheshimiwa, right? Come August. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. And on our next episode, we'll be engaging with our next aspiring leader. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to our YouTube channel. I've been your host, Liz Akama.